Hello, you are welcome. Here, let's solve this nice radical problem. And uh, from here, we can write this again as root 4 times 2, same thing as root 8, then plus root 4 times 3 here, that's same thing as root 12, then plus root 16, same thing as 4 from here, then divided by in the denominator, we still have this as root 2, then plus root 3, then plus, yeah, let's write this as root 3 times 2, that's same thing as root 6, then plus, also, we can write this as root 4 times 2, that's same thing as root 8 here, then plus, also, root 16 there is 4. Then, in the next step, we can rewrite this and uh, separate this root 4 times root 2 and root 4 is 2 that's 2 root 2 from there also plus here 2 root 3 then plus here we can separate this 4 and make it 2 times 2 then divided by from here we have root 2 then plus root 3 then plus when we separate this we have root 3 times root 2 then plus from here root 4 is also 2 that's 2 root 2 now then from here we separate this as 2 plus 2 then from here we have 2 common in the numerator we factor it out so we have 2 out from here, then what is left here, we have root 2, then plus root 3, then plus 2, then divided by, then from the denominator here, we can, you know, make something of root 2 plus, root 3 plus 2, to be common here, so let's take one of these two together with this, so we have root 2 now, plus root 3 plus 2 so this one of the two has been matched together with this then now remain this that is plus root 3 times root 2 plus 2 root 2 then plus 2 that is left there then from here let's make this side now to also have something like root 2 plus root 3 plus 2. From there, when we rewrite that, we can say that will be root 2, root 3 times root 2 rather, then plus 2 root 2. Then instead of writing plus 2, we can write it as plus root 2 times root 2. Because root 2 times root 2 will still give us you know these two then from here when we bring out what is common from here which is root 2 so we have root 2 now into bracket root 3 plus 2 plus root 2 now from here what we have same thing as this which is root 2 plus root 3 plus 2 then instead of writing this now let's replace it with what we have here, that is root 2 into bracket root 3 plus 2 plus root 2. Then this particular fraction from this end will now become 2 into bracket root 2 plus root 2, root 3 plus 2. Then we now be divided by root 2 plus root 3 plus 2 then plus what we have here now which is root 2 into bracket root 3 we can even rearrange it to you know take this format that's root 2 plus root 3 now plus 2 then from here we still leave our numerator as 2 into bracket root 2 plus root 3 plus 
plus 2 then all over what is common here now when we separate this we now be root 2 plus root 3 plus 2 is common so when we bring it out we have root 2 plus root 3 plus 2 out then what we have here will be 1 then plus what we have here left will be root 2 then from here root 2 plus root 3 plus 2 is common to both numerator and denominator so this can be cancelled out then what we have left in here now is now 2 divided by 1 plus root 2 so we have 2 over 1 plus root 2 then when we rationalize this we multiply by the conjugate sort of the denominator that's 1 minus root 2 then over 1 minus root 2 then this multiplies directly from here we have 2 into bracket now 1 minus root 2 then this also multiplies each other we have 1 plus root 2 we multiply 1 minus root 2 from here 2 multiplies here we have 2 minus 2 root 2 up there then divided by this of course our conjugate sort we have 1 square minus root 2 square then from here this will give us 2 minus 2 root 2 then over 1 square is still 1 then root 2 square that's minus 2 now and then 1 minus 2 that's minus 1 so we have 2 minus 2 root 2 then over minus 1 so it means we have this will now be 2 over minus 1 that's minus 2 then minus 2 over minus 1 that's plus 2 root 2 now then from here we can write the answer and we call this 2 root 2 minus 2 so therefore we have here 2 root 2 minus 2 as the final answer to this given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to step subscribe for more exciting videos. Also put your comments if you have another way of solving this. And don't forget to share and like this video. Thank you. See you next class then. Bye for now.